If you're looking to start and or grow a successful YouTube channel in 2023, this is the only tool you're going to need to do it. I first discovered vidIQ a couple of months ago when things performance wise on my channel were kind of on a downward spiral and then through using various of their tools, I was actually able to get my channel back on a much more steady path upwards. Getting more views on my videos, gaining more subscribers, making more revenue off my videos, seeing my videos go from being ranked 9th or 10th out of my last 10 uploads to being ranked first or second of my last 10 uploads, just a whole lot of improvement. So that is when I reached out to vidIQ and told their team I wanted to share with my audience how vidIQ helped me sort of get my channel back on track and growing again. And they actually gave me a super cool promotion to share with you guys. So if at any point throughout this video, you want to try any one of these tools I mentioned, but you want to do it sort of more risk-free, then you can use the link in my description box and try the boost plan of vidIQ for 30 days for only a dollar and you will not be charged until your second month or if you decide to cancel. So now let's look at some of my favorite tools from vidIQ that have really just completely changed the game for me as a creator. The first tool on the boost plan that I use literally every single day is called daily ideas. Personally coming up with video ideas that are new and relevant that my audience is actually going to want to watch that are actually going to help my channel get more views and subscribers that is something I've pretty much always struggled with as a creator. So what this incredible tool basically does for you is once a day you come into the daily ideas section of either the vidIQ website or the app and it is basically going to give you 50 video ideas every day that are tailor-made to your channel, your content, and your audience. And what I find really really cool is as you're swiping through every one of these ideas it's also going to give you a view prediction. So along each idea it's also going to tell you if this idea is predicted to get high views, mediocre views, or low reviews. As soon as I began using this tool and making videos off of their video idea recommendations, I had my video about YouTube Shorts monetization absolutely blow up. I had other videos get 7,000, 8,000, even 10,000 views. And even when they were videos that didn't perform stellarly, they still got a lot more views than I was getting before. So most definitely this tool has some kind of a wicked prediction algorithm because every time I make one of the videos they suggest, I end up with really good views and decent revenue. And if you consider that they give you 50 video ideas every day, there are 365 days in a year. Whether or not you use every single idea they give you, that's over 18,000 video ideas in a year. So most definitely since I began using this tool, I am never again going to be short on video ideas because I have hundreds of them stored away. Now I'm sure as AI is completely and totally taking over the internet and social media, most of you guys have probably heard of ChatGPT and the way that creators have begun to use this tool. In fact, I even made a video of my own about ChatGPT a few weeks ago when the tool first came out and began to become really popular. But then the issue is that after everybody and their mother began to find out about ChatGPT and start to use it, the site really began getting over trafficked and now you're lucky if you can even get on the website on a good day. But now since then, vidIQ has actually created their own absolutely brilliant AI tool that is specifically targeted for creators. So if you go into your vidIQ account and go over to Coach AI. This tool is absolutely incredible and does things on a level I'm sure even ChatGPT could never do. It could, for example, fix any one of your titles to make them more clickable. It can write any one of your video scripts and or outlines for you to give you better retention in your videos. It can give you a bunch of video ideas on any topic or idea that you give it. It can write your video descriptions for you to optimize them for YouTube and even give you thumbnail ideas. Ideas. So pretty much your entire video creation workflow from coming up with an idea, writing the outline and script for your video, coming up with both a clickable title and thumbnail, writing your video descriptions, vidIQ's Coach AI can do literally all that for you and save you so much time. Literally your best friend in creating content that is optimized for your audience and so much more likely to get you more views, subscribers, revenue, and growth on YouTube. Then they also have this other really cool tool called Competitors which I wish they would change the title for because honestly to me viewing other creators as competition is not healthy it's not going to bring you anything constructive or productive but for now the tool is called competitors and the weird name does not change how awesome it is so basically within your vidIQ account over in the competitors tab you can basically create a list of other creators in your niche in your market in your community who make similar content as you do who have similar audiences as you do then as you scroll down in this tool, the first
first graph is kind of useless in my opinion, mostly because I don't think that comparing your views to other people's views is again very constructive or productive. But then as you scroll down further within this tool, there is a really, really cool section that basically shows you all the top videos that other people in your market or your community are uploading that are performing really, really well on their channels. And what this is really going to tell you if you are creating similar content, if you have similar audiences, it's going to tell you that if these are topics that are doing really well on these other creators channels, then these are topics that you may want to consider for your own content. It's really just another great place to look when you're not only short on video ideas, but also curious what's relevant or popular in your community. Now, if you've ever been to my channel before, watch any of my videos before, you know that I very often emphasize the importance of video optimization, SEO, ranking and search, and just keywords in general, especially as a means to passive and long-term growth, views, subscribers, and revenue. And honestly, in my own opinion, I think that IQ has done the best job I've ever seen of creating an absolute arsenal when it comes to keywords and keyword research, especially in creating tools that pretty much do all the work for you. Now, there are three main ways that vidIQ's keyword tools help you as a creator, and personally, I think every single one of them is incredible. So first, you have the keyword tool within your vidIQ account on their website, which is just going to give you all kinds of really awesome insight into what keywords are doing the best job of bringing you views and traffic to your videos? What are some top keyword opportunities right now that you should really take advantage of and make a video about if you want to get views or growth? As well as just a general overview that you may want to stay on top of checking fairly regularly as a creator to give you some really awesome insight. Then you have the Keyword Inspector tool once you've installed the vidIQ extension in Google Chrome and signed in with your account. Basically, you go onto YouTube, open up the vidIQ tool at the top of your screen and go down to Keyword Inspector. And this is going to help you to optimize your videos like crazy. It basically allows you to search up to five keywords that are either relevant to each other or not relevant to each other at all. And then it's going to give you an endless amount of relevant or related keywords with all kinds of really awesome information you definitely want to take notes on. First, it's going to give you the search volume of every single one of the keywords that it gives you so that you basically have a pretty good idea of whether or not people are actively searching for this keyword on YouTube. If you see that a keyword has a search volume of a thousand or three thousand, then it's not really that active a keyword. But if there are 72,000 people or a hundred thousand people searching for that keyword, well, then it's a very active keyword that you definitely want to consider using. Then you also have the competition volume, which basically tells you whether or not there is a heavy volume of other creators also targeting that keyword that are going to act as a competition for your video. So, depending on whether each keyword has a high or low competition volume, that's going to tell you whether or not your video has a really good chance of ranking for that keyword. And this tool has always been really, really clutch for me when it comes to writing my titles or adding keywords to my videos, because I've seen time and time again that by researching keywords in the inspector, by changing even like one or two words in my title or keyword, I can instantly take my search volume from a couple thousand to over a hundred thousand. And then the third really incredible keyword tool that vidIQ offers is actually when you're uploading videos to YouTube. If you scroll down to to the tag box in your upload settings, there's actually a button under that that says Keyword Inspector. When you open this up, it looks very similar to the last tool that we just looked at. However, the only difference is that once you have researched keywords in this inspector, you will also see a little plus button between every single keyword that comes up. What this basically allows you to do is as you're finding all these excellent keywords to use in your title or description or tag box, as you click the plus button beside every one of those keywords, it's automatically going to add it to your tag box so that once you have a tag box full of the best possible keywords you have researched and found through vidIQ's inspector, you can then just copy your entire tag box and paste it into your video description so that your video is perfectly optimized for all those keywords you have just researched. Every single video I've uploaded since I first installed the vidIQ tool, I've used every one of these keyword tools and they've changed absolutely everything when it comes to optimization, keyword research, and just video performance as a whole. So again, you guys, if any one of these tools I've shared in this video are of interest to you, then I will have my personal link to vidIQ down in my description box so that you guys can have a full 30 days of trying any one of these tools for only a dollar and you will not be charged until your second month using vidIQ or if you cancel beforehand. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. That is everything I had to share with you guys about all the different reasons why I love vidIQ and why it has completely changed my life as a creator. As always, I hope you guys 
enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!